Hello YouTube. Um, I thought I'd do this video because I didn't see one for this particular car on installing an iPod uh, adapter interface for a 2001 Audi A4. I, uh, I picked this interface up online. Um, we're going to see how it works. Um, a lot of people read or posted reviews about it saying that it, it worked just fine for on the eBay page but there was no other information about it and it was $48 you know so it was really cheap which is uh, why I wanted to give it a whirl because I didn't want to pay the 160 or whatever they usually wanted. I did see another one for 100 bucks but let's see how this one goes. So first thing that uh, you have to deal with is these uh, these cars have a special tool that you need these four keys to put in and pull the stereo out. There's guides for this online. You can you can find other places on YouTube. Uh, you can go buy the tools or you can be cheap like me. And I went down to uh, Darsh Dub Sport here in Edmonton. And they are awesome. I love dealing with these guys. I just popped by there and they uh, they did this for free. They just put the key in, pulled it out, and away I went. So... <clears throat> Taking the stereo out for the first time, see what I see. Uh, I heard about uh, the fact that if you unplug this, which we're gonna have to do here, there's a possibility that the stereo might get stuck in safe mode, at which point you need the uh, serial number and the VIN number of the vehicle uh, written down and then you call Audi and then you get a uh, code of some sort and, and then you can unlock the stereo again. So I hope that doesn't happen here today. So what do we got? There's the back side of the head unit. I think that red plug there is the one that we're gonna have to replace. So if you can see, what I ended up doing was, it's not this red one here, it didn't fit. It's actually this top one here. And it makes sense, because the diagram on the top here shows this is where the CD changer would go. And that's this top one here, among other things, canvas, I believe, and uh, line out maybe the speakers or to the uh, rear amplifier. But uh, anyway, so basically the stock harness plugs into this side of the cable, right? And then that pops around, and then it goes into this three colored one, which these separate colored modules um, will disconnect from each other. So. You could have it as just a straight through cable, just like an extension. That's what this blue one was. But instead, I plugged in the new interface, which is this one right here. And uh, and then I had to tie this ground. Sorry about this uh, camera work. It's a little tight, awkward angle here. But you see the little screw right here. Um, yeah, you have to tie the ground to that screw. So you just unscrew it with Phillips screwdriver. Put the loophole on there. Um, and yeah, so I went ahead and I tried this out already because, uh, I was excited about it, <laughs> but, uh, I'll show you one more time here. I'm not going to put it back in permanently just yet because I got to find a good place to run the cable. Actually, we can just set that there. So there it is. And, uh, so I... You turn it on. I didn't have any trouble, by the way, with the um, with it locking out on me. It uh, just turned back on fine. So I tried to do it quickly, but uh, so see, it says CD1 track 91. A um, little weird, but uh, so I don't have an iPod on me right now. But uh, this has two two features here. You've got auxiliary input and you've got iPod, right? So. Just go ahead and plug my phone in and show you what it's all about.
little bit of moody blues there. So I'm just gonna go inside and I'm gonna grab my iPod and we'll try that out. All right, I'm back with my iPod. So let's see. Plug it in. Turn the stereo on. Oh yeah, it's working already. I know that this is Achilles' last stand. So this is usually the first one that comes on in our Volkswagen. So uh, I should be able to go next track. Look at that. Look at that. You see, you see. So, I wonder what happens. I press. Now I don't know what it's selecting between, but uh, from other other ones that I've seen. Um, the first one is you have full control of the iPod and then the other ones are the first one, two, three, four, five playlists that are on your iPod. So here it's showing the album leaf here, but I think I still have control. Yeah, I still have control. So, I don't know. Mind you, there's only one playlist on here, so it might it might work differently uh, once you put different playlists on here. Let's see. Uh, music playlists. Yeah, there's only one playlist on this iPod, so I think if you had a few of them, then it would work. So what happens if I plug in? play my phone as well. Should be able to have both hooked up and playing. That one, as soon as I hit play on here, this took this, this took the iPod over. And then this started playing, the iPod started playing again. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's not interfering in playing both, it's one or the other. But I think there's a button on here that you can hit. I don't know if it's P scan. That switches. And there it is, installed. I just got the cable coming out here. Uh, I got the iPod cable in the glove box there. Place to store the old phone. Could be a little longer, but I'm not gonna complain, trust me. Six by six. 